You know, Watson, the opulent mansions and stifling heat remind me of my time in the Mediterranean. Cordona does sound rather magical. Do you think you shall ever return? I... I don't know. That place was home to some of my greatest memories and... some of my lowest moments. Lord, help me. Excuse me, miss. Are you all right? What is your name? Eula, sir. Waiting for someone, Eula? Y uh, yes, sir. My brother, Davy. He works for Mr. Arneson in that mansion yonder. <laughs> Been five days now since I last heard from him. Come now, why all the tears? Something happened to Davy. <gasps> I feel it in my bones. Do you think he may have left the premises? No, sir. Davy, he ain't like you and me. He's smart in some ways, but he can't talk. Not a word. He's he's pure and kind. Fear not. We will look for your brother. One presumes this gate is locked. Is there any other way inside? There's another entrance through the stables you could try. That's where I meet Davy normally, but I, I couldn't get in. See, I couldn't find the key. It wasn't in its usual spot. Please hurry, sir. Find him for me. No way in. I rather wish my lockpicks had not been lost in the river, along with all our clothes, books, tea. This must be the key to the stables. Poor animal has been suffering for days. It's dehydrated, Holmes. Without water, it will die. Mr. Arneson's cab is still here. Cay and pepper. Half empty. Or as Watson would say, half full. This might be useful. A 
At least that's one life saved. You did it. You're inside? Have you seen Davy? Not yet, miss, but we are on it. Please, look for my little brother. Hmm. No way in. Something bad happened here. I know. Be prepared for anything. Someone smaller walked over these boot prints. A trail of wax leads to the door. The candle was burning when it fell. A few drops of blood, but not from a mortal wound. The bent end of this candlestick has blood on it. Burnt papers, now completely unreadable. Someone was bleeding, but it doesn't look lethal. Watson, would you please lend me your medical expertise? I'll do my best. His corneas are already clouded. The hand can bend freely. Rigor mortis has passed. A deep stab reached the man's heart. Clean edges suggest a sharp blade, but the wound is too wide for an ordinary knife. <laughs> Hay on his trousers suggests a gardener or groom. This man has been dead for a week. The result of a sharp object piercing his heart. You are mostly right. But I would bet he died five days ago. Heat and humidity will have accelerated the decomposition. Mr. Arneson with his prey. I will need your help one more time, Doctor. An enormous blow shattered her ribcage.
Blooded, broken nails. The poor woman tried to put up a fight. Extremely sharp and deadly. A wound like this could only be dealt by a man of incredible strength. And cruelty. T for two. An odd glimpse of normalcy amid the horror. A used kitchen towel. Does it look so familiar? Arneson and Davy seem to have got along well. 
looks more like a son than a servant. Arneson and Davy, 1881. Fauna of Louisiana. Full of things that bite, no doubt. New Pied Piper. Foreigners missing in New Orleans. Note the blade, Watson. A curved dagger, probably of Persian or Indian origin. Nine or ten inches, I'd say. What I wouldn't give for a nice bath right now, Holmes. Dashing portrait of Mr. Arneson. A dull book about local geology. Even I'd struggle. Intruder entered through the back door at night, leaving mud traces in the hallway. Without being noticed, they picked up a candlestick and struck the man in the chair from behind. In the kitchen, two people were drinking tea, the workman and cook. They were startled by the noise of a falling body and went to investigate the parlor. The workman tried to subdue the intruder, but was stabbed by the attacker's knife. Judging by the wound, it was a curved blade. The cook panicked and fled back to the kitchen. The intruder followed, but since their blade was stuck in the workman, they used the meat cleaver on the table to kill her. Someone smaller arrived and discovered the carnage. They dropped the candlestick in horror and ran for safety to a room down the hallway. Meanwhile, the intruder returned to his first victim and dragged their stunned body away from the fireplace and out into the garden.
Size 10, the owner's footprints were shallow. Size 10, the heels were sinking into the ground. Look here, Doctor. Two sets of footprints left by the same person, yet they vary in depth. What do you conclude? Hmm. Perhaps they arrived empty-handed, but left carrying something heavy. Precisely. We'll make a detective of you yet, Watson. More boot prints. <laughs> Luxurious shoes, size nine. <laughs> These fingers were severed with a single clean stroke, but I don't see the thumb or middle finger. Look, Watson. Animal prints. I wonder what kind. Boots. Size 10. A scrap of silk, soft and elegant. Watson, quick! Get her down. Ligature marks on her neck. There'll be a bruise, but she should be okay. Doctor? Watson, speak to me. How is she? We were just in time, Holmes. Eula is stable, but lucky to be alive. We should take her to a hospital for a further examination. Yes. I fear I was wrong, Watson. The Sheriff is not a man to be underestimated. To lynch an innocent woman just to send a message, it's evil. We're not safe in this city, nor is anyone around us. Then we must not dawdle. Help me get Eula to her feet. No, no. I'll not leave here without Davy. Miss, please, we must get you help. No, I will not be deterred. I will get my brother and bring him home. If my deductions are correct, Davy lies behind this door. He ought to be unhurt, but is no doubt shaken.
Davy. Davy, you there? Davy, we understand what you witnessed before. It's safe now. You're safe. Please, let us in. Your sister wants to see you. Everything will be all right, I promise. Yeah, them gentlemen speak the truth. Just, just open the door. Big sister's here for you. Davy, oh, come here, you! Thanks, sirs. Lord bless your souls. Let me examine him, miss. I want to make sure he is unharmed. Remember, he may be mute, but he still understands you. Davy seems in good health. The bruise is a remnant of that awful night, perhaps even caused by the intruder, but he is otherwise unharmed. In fact, I believe life here was good for the boy. Arneson and the others cared for Davy. That may have allowed him to withstand such horrors. I need your help, Davy. We know that the man with the curved dagger is responsible for all this. You recognized the man, yes? The same one in the photograph in the office upstairs, standing with Arneson. Good. Please, write his name. And one last thing. The room with an image of a bell on its door may hold important answers. Do you know a way in? Yes. I think I've got it. You have been very helpful, Davy. Oh, Davy, things you must have gone through. Let's take a closer look.
scrap of silk, soft and elegant. Arneson's signet ring, as we saw in his portrait. Isn't that interesting? Hello again, Lucy. My princess, my love, my heart. Fitting words. It's almost a piece of art.
Davy, we know that Ashmat is responsible for what happened here. We must catch him and hold him accountable. I know that you are scared, but you are also the only one who can help us. I believe Mr. Arneson showed you a cryptic telegram that was sent to Ashmat. You are an impressive boy with a phenomenal memory. Can you tell us the contents of that message? Thank you, Davy. Watson, please copy down everything he writes. These should come in handy. <laughs> Dense and disturbing notes. It's hard to follow. The scene is impossible, unnatural, but also familiar. A foreigner's clothes, by the looks of things from the Near East. Cut and polished, easy to sell.
Got a spot in mind. New Orleans port, and quickly. Innocent slaughtered, a woman lynched, a boy forever traumatized. I fear we've crossed the Rubicon, Holmes. Davy is resilient, much like Eula. They will overcome this. You're right, but I worry this portends far worse for us. What have we got ourselves into, Holmes? Johnny boy! So how was it with Champagne? Most enlightening, thank you. And now my friend Mr. Holmes would like to talk to you too. Well, ain't you something? What can I do for you? I'm afraid I bring bad tidings. How bad? It concerns your significant other, Arneson. Arneson? Now who said we were lovebirds? Lucy, we only mean to help. No word of the matter shall spread. What are you implying? The man in this letter seemed ready to declare his feelings for you. Sounds like he was more than a client. It's part of the job. Men can say weird things when they think they're in love. This photo of you and Mr. Arneson suggests the feelings were reciprocated. Looking interested when with the client is part of the job, Mr. Holmes. I don't even remember the man. You mean to say you take pictures with everyone? If they ask nicely. And pay. Arneson definitely paid for a ring in your size inscribed, My princess, my love, my heart. It is for you. Arneson was going to propose marriage. Facts are clear. You know Mr. Arneson and perhaps even love him back. Regardless, he has been abducted. His life is hanging in the balance. Please, help me save him. Oh, oh my Errol! What have you gotten yourself into? I, I didn't want to believe this could happen. Lucy, Lucy. What do you know? Could it have been the Sheriff? I don't know, John. This town has darkness in it. Errol and me, we had plans. Dreams. We wanted to make this place better for all the folk who live here. Errol had grown suspicious of Ashmat, thought he was acting odd. He brought up the bayou. I told him to leave it all alone. The water's there. They swallow everyone. You mean the alligators? No, n no, no. It's local legend. The bayou's dangerous. Any visitor that sees death messengers, they die. These messengers, are they abstract or a landmark? They're white lilies. You see a path with them flowers, you turn around. All right, Watson. We must find someone to take us to the bayou. Lucy, you have our thanks. We will go and look for Arneson. Hello again, and thank you. Your last tip proved extremely useful. Don't mention it, Cher. Champagne ain't one for trickery. Now, if you need more help... As it happens, we need to take a short trip through the bayou into the nearby swamp. Of course, you'd receive fair compensation. It's almost dusk, and only fools go into that swamp at night. Come back tomorrow. Champagne will take you down. That will not do. We must go now. It is of grave importance. I won't take you. But if you're crazy enough to go, I'll sell you the boat. Wouldn't you know it, I came across a bottle of your namesake. Will that be enough for a boat? It's warm. The bottle's dirty. But we got a deal. I'll even lend you this rifle. <laughs> if you're going into swamp, you'll need it. One last favor. The boat that we came on is to leave tomorrow for Europe. 
Would you kindly relay a message to the crew for us? We may need them to hold their departure till 8 in the morning. Of course. At least, in Afghanistan, we had nippy nights. It makes one yearn for rainy London. This place, Champagne, did not mince words about it. Keep your wits about you, Watson. We are inching closer to the heart of this mystery, however dark it may be. Hell's bells! I told you to stay away, Doctor. That he did, Holmes. I rule these walls. Go hiding from me here. No case goes cold on my watch. Settle down, boys. Our friends are as good as gone. This is it, Watson. Our moment of truth. Holmes, do you believe the Sheriff? That we won't escape? One cannot be hurt by superstition, Watson. Look, Holmes! Fireflies! How did this shipwreck get here? Let us just ensure we do not end up the same way. What's that, Holmes? Whatever, or whoever it was, we should ready ourselves. Drums? Drums in the bayou? something swim underneath our boat. Probably just a rotten log. Did you hear that, Holmes? What do you see? 
A shadow. Nothing more. If you told me when I binned your paper that we'd end up fleeing the law in a rowboat through the Louisiana Bayou, huh. I dare say you would have hardly been surprised. is getting thicker, almost suffocating. The stench of death. All too familiar now. It reeks of death. We are more likely to sink in there than on our boat. Let's go. Holmes, hand me the rifle. I can shoot the ropes holding a few of those poor souls. Come on, Holmes, give me the rifle. We shouldn't waste time in a place like this. Watson, stay calm, but be quick. An alligator has noticed us. That's... that's vicious. That's nature, Watson. Let's try not to annoy them. That pier looks promising over there, Watson. We're approaching the heart of darkness. This place gives me the shivers, despite the muggy night. Ashmack dragged Arneson here. of burning flesh, just horrific. A Keep away from it, focus gathering. on our tasks, and so we may soon leave all this behind. Thankfully, it's not Arneson.
A heavy weight scored impressions in the ground one inch deep. Days old and rotten. Damp and moldy hay. The prisoners were kept like animals, slowly deteriorating under the gruesome treatment. The wood is swamp cypress, endemic to the area. The blood is dry. The axe has not been used for some time. A simple rope. This is how those poor people were crucified. The initials EA are embroidered with silk thread. The prisoner's clothes tossed aside. Blood was poured over someone, leaving a gruesome silhouette. Bowls filled with blood. A worn blade, but clean and without blood. I should be glad we're out of the water, but I'm not. The tracks lead behind the stone slab. Only this indentation was spared from blood. This is not Arneson, just another unfortunate soul. Thankfully, Arneson isn't among the dead. Only this indentation was spared from blood. The bloody handprint on this stone lacks four fingers. The victim's left hand clawed at the soil. Sunken heels, the result of dragging a heavy body.
Arneson was held captive in this cage until his abductors tied him to a cross and dragged him to the bonfire. Arneson was left hanging here for a while before being freed and led to the altar. At the altar, Arneson's captors performed a ritual on him and poured blood over his head. With Arneson now prepared, he was escorted to the sealed entrance. They used the mechanism with an indentation to open the passage. heavy and covered in blood. Damn it. Something is wrong with my lantern. Give me a minute. I won't wait for you. I'm going in. Not again. skin and still warm. Ah, what's happening? Deja vu and not in a pleasant way. Yeah! <laughs> 
now? Axes? What's on earth for? is glowing, but why? that glow again. I hope that was all. I can't take any more. At last, the lantern's working again. Holmes, I'm coming. Holmes, what are you doing, sitting in a place like this? How did you get here? How did you get through the maze? Tell me, Watson. What maze? I walked straight up to you. You saw me. Do not lie to me, John. How did you get out? Sherlock, what happened? Are you feeling all... Oh, heavens. Is that Arneson? Why didn't you mention him? Stay put. I must check if he is alive. I need to focus on Arneson. The unknown! Beckoned! Great one! Lightning! I should examine him before he has another seizure. Please tell me there are no eels inside, Arneson. Blunt trauma to the cranium, dilated pupils, lips moving without a sound. Cold sweat. Two. No, three ribs fractured. Severed fingers, the wounds are inflamed. Pulse is racing. 110 beats a minute. 
Arneson is delirious after all he's endured. We can't get him to the boat in a state like that. It's dangerous to us and him. <laughs> Hard to tell what it says. The nightmares these poor souls had to endure. I wonder what this language is. <laughs> Odorless, watery, and hard to identify. Pokeweed berries, though they appear harmless, the whole plant is lethal. A pharmacopoeia, listing drugs, effects, and directions for use. Some kind of Amanita mushroom, extremely poisonous. This is Dwale, induces sleep and relaxation. A gluey decoction. The smell is herby but sharp. It appears burnt, judging by the color. <laughs> Salvia divinora provokes visual hallucinations. I just need a second, John. Should help soothe Arneson. I see. Uh... I need some fresh air. Yes, please go. I'll be right behind you with Arneson. Perhaps you can prepare the boat.
Freunde. Eyes without purpose, I now see the truth. Tear me man from my flesh, score me festering soul. Phantoms of nothing, we are born to die. Filled in the eyes of our eldritch lord. Free my festering soul and let me feel. Oh, please, I wish to return. Free me, let me return. Free me and rejoice. Eyes without purpose, I now see the truth. Tear my mind from my flesh. Holmes, are you all right? Here, let me help. I'm fine. Holmes? Sherlock? What the hell were you doing? He almost killed you. I don't... You're right. Let's go, Watson. Bon Dieu! Still among the living! We are, though not for lack of trying by the Sheriff. Well, he'd been telling people you died in the swamp despite his trying to save you. <laughs> Crooked man. Through and through. Wait, is that Mr. Arneson? Yes, but he's not well. Do you know Lucy? Belle from the Nymph? That I do. Please bring her here. Mr. Arneson needs to see a familiar face if he's to have any chance of surviving. Power of the heart. I get you. Wait here. Uh, Errol? Oh, Errol! Reckon we should give him space. Farewells are painful. No, 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 no. Tell me that's not true. Watson, Mr. Arneson has endured a lot. Lost four fingers, a lot of blood, and some of his sanity. But with rest and tender care, he ought to survive those injuries, both physical and mental. Thank you, Johnny. I'll take care of him. Thank you for bringing him home to me. We'll be all right. Are you quite certain? Do you have the space? The resources? I will stay with him at the mansion. It is not a burden to take care of your love. His property is in quite a state. It may not be the best place for recuperation. Hush now. Champagne will see it sorted. Then it's settled. Hear that, Errol? Us living under one roof. Careful what you wish for. Oh, and Champagne? I'm about sick of watching that sheriff run riot through New Orleans. We ought to talk. Funny. I was just thinking that Grub did nothing to save your man. Together, I reckon you, me, and Arrow have the sway to make some changes around here. I like the sound of that. Holmes, our boat. Oh, we must make haste. Farewell all. Take care. Who's there? Hmm. Who do you think? Let it be known that I'm handy with this revolver. Nonsense, Dr. Watson. As I understand it, when faced with the imperative to defend oneself, one's comrades, and one's nation, you fled. I... I... Aren't you going to introduce us, Sherlock? Watson, meet my brother Mycroft, the Queen's best boy. This is a grim augury indeed, for wherever Mycroft travels, tedium surely follows. In contrast, of course, to Sherlock, a man whose obsessive pursuit of the trivial tears through the most carefully laid plans like a hurricane. Do you have any idea what you have disrupted? <laughs> your ego is inflated as much as your waistband. What word comes to mind? You... you work for the government? International trade is a delicate beast. Your antics and Edelweiss have jeopardized one of the Crown's richest relationships. Oh dear. As rich as all the butter you've been slathering on your bread? We need your help. What? 
There is evil afoot. Strangeness and savagery like I have never seen. Something otherworldly, festering in the dark beyond our reach. We have seen things that defy explanation. Mystic forces, magic. You must help us. It's true. The British government does not invest its resources in the insane or intoxicated. Pull yourself together. I know men like you. Men like you grease palms, whisper in ears, start wars, and you send men like me to die in them. You, and the rest of your corpulent cronies. Aha! Corpulent! That was it. Interesting, Sherlock. But as you again drift away from sanity, you find yourself another John. All right, so the choice is made. I beg your pardon? There is only us. We cannot run from this problem. I shall take the book and Davis' cryptic message to Barnes. See what he makes of it. Hmm? As you were, Watson. Do what you must. Um, am I mad? This painting wasn't here last time, was it? Another sinking near Scotland. By the strand for the details. Go on. Thank you, sir. It has been a while, Barnes. Dr. Watson. Indeed it has, and good to see you as always. Uh, how can I help? Someone is full of pep. Oh, uh, yes. Mr. Holmes, he, he was quite the inspiration. Last time you were in town, he offered me some stirring advice, which I have since acted upon. Holmes is nothing if not provocative. Indeed, the thorny truth is often hard to hear. But it did the job, and now my heart is full. I'm glad to hear it. Much obliged, Doctor. Last time we met, you mentioned your knack for translating occult texts. I was wondering if you could help me with this book. Certainly, I... Goodness. Where on earth did you procure this grimoire? That's a long story. What do you make of it? It seems to describe pagan rituals, ancient deities. Wow, what a marvel. I can try and translate it for you. Um, just the pages bearing that symbol. This section, really. Entity of ocean, or time. Oh my. Oh, uh, already on it, as you can tell. <laughs> if you can have it done at your earliest convenience, that would be lovely. Barnes, does Stevenson's guiding light mean anything to you? Uh, well, my mind first goes to Robert Louis Stevenson, an up-and-coming author. I've been following his work in the periodicals. Interesting man. I take it his literary pursuits are somewhat of a deviation from the family business. What makes you say that? He wrote a poem. Let me see if I have it still. Uh, yes. Say not of me that weakly I declined the labours of my sires, and fled the sea, the towers we founded, and the lamps we lit. Hmm. The labours of his sires. I wonder what they do. I have a book on great British families. If the Stevensons have achieved anything of note, they will be in there. Please, feel free to take a look. It should be on the shelves to the right. Much obliged. For some reason, it makes my skin crawl.
Take care of your master. A moment, please. Spellbinding pages. Nearly done, Doctor. Have you found the book you're after? Say, do you possess coastal maps of Scotland? Indeed. Have you figured out what the Stevensons are known for? Feats of lighthouse engineering. You have my thanks for the book. My pleasure, Doctor. Do you need any particular part of the coast? Loch Harbour, west coast. Right then, I'll unroll it on the desk. All yours. In the meantime, I will attend to my translation. Much appreciated. Doctor, look what I just found. Barnes, have you finished with the book? Yes. I've written out a translation of the section you wanted. It, uh, puts the Grim in grimoire. I thought as much. Long story short, it details macabre rituals, death, leviathans and the apocalypse. See for yourself. I must ask you to leave the book with me so I can read more of it. It's compelling. Very compelling. Uh, I don't think that would be wise. Please give it back. That said, I remain grateful for your immeasurable help. Oh, how disappointing. I hope you will consider lending it to me in the future. Good day, Doctor. Mycroft, here to buy a book on fraternal dysfunction. The Holmes family is beyond counselling, Doctor. True? More deserving of scientific study. What do you want? I came to warn you. Perhaps you have a moment to... Sorry, I reserve Tuesday afternoons for time with friends. I'm worried about Sherlock. He's not well. You should know that he has had episodes in the past. Detachment from reality. He will need your support. Such gall. First you crush him under your boot heel, now you ask me to pick up the pieces! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Your emotions are impeding your rationality. He needs to be distracted, diverted into something less harmful. Surely, you jest. Only one thing shall truly bring him peace of mind, and that is solving his case. The last case he pursued so doggedly was Cordona. He came home a wreck, and this time I fear he may not return at all. You are not his father, Mycroft. Not anymore. He is a grown man, a brilliant man. I know you care for him. I just wish you also respected him. The Crown cannot help you. But I can. Give him this. What is it? A confidential note tied to his case. He may see value in it. Just do not tell him it came from me. Oh, speaking of the Crown, perhaps you can help us with another matter? It requires some local knowledge. I'm all ears. For your eyes only. Here is a folder with all the details. Unlike Holmes, I don't carry lockpicks. Near perfect camouflage. It makes me wonder if Mycroft also spies in our suite in Baker Street. A map of possible routes taken from the embassy. I thought only Sherlock was capable of this kind of deduction. The spyglass was positioned to watch the windows of the embassy across the road. Roll Berkshire Regiment. His face and neck are swollen, and I can see wasp stings all over the skin. Only his right arm was functional. His left arm was paralyzed in the war. M signed by someone else's hand. A wasp's nest. They might attack if someone draws too close or are otherwise provoked. Much like London itself. Milk has soured. The oldest letter was delivered three days ago. I'm sorry I have bad news. Please do not tell me Hawk is a turncoat. Worse. I have found him dead in his wheelchair, out in the garden. Hmm. How did he die, exactly? He was stung repeatedly by wasps. His body succumbed to anaphylaxis. And that is all you observed? Was there anything suspicious? Well, there was one thing. In his notes I found a handwritten M, but it didn't match Hawke's other writing. Listen carefully, Doctor. Do not investigate further, do not talk about this matter to anyone, and do not ask questions. Thank you. Now leave it alone.
Another sinking near Scotland by the Strand for the details. Holmes, I have the translation. But Barnes was affected by the book. Holmes? Watson? Did you hear me? Barnes was behaving oddly, but I was able to retrieve the book and his preliminary translation. I think we have a lead. Sherlock, what is it? I find myself burdened. It will come as no surprise that I tend towards obsession. Indeed, obsession off grants me the insights that have become my stock in trade, but my greatest asset. Yet I cannot deny this nature proves as much a hindrance as a boon. It has cost me friends, colleagues, Brothers, and despite my obsession, as I contend with the matter at hand, no closer to understanding than when we began, I... Well, I must conclude that I am of no worth at all. Without an answer, what use is the question? Sherlock, this is no time for despair. The book is real. Those men went mad. John, I fear that I am as mad as the rest of them. I bore witness to the same events that you did. I saw with my own eyes the inexplicable, the ghastly, and the unnatural. I can attest to their occurrence. So take heart, for it was as real as you or I. And thus, we must persist. Lives hang in the balance. If you cannot see your word, then trust in me, for I see it. And I know of no other man capable of putting this matter right. Thank you, John. Would that I possessed even half your courage. Pray tell, where does our journey end? Ardna Merkin, Scotland. Well, shall we be off? Yes, of course. You can apprise me of your actions while we pack. And soon, I fear we will join those missing souls. These seas have taken too many, John. Let's stop them from taking more, then. The door won't budge. An old cannon, probably rusting here since the 16th century. Ouroboros, a snake eating itself, an ancient symbol of eternal renewal. Fresh marks, something scraped along the stone. This door requires a very specific key.
Where did the shirt come from? Holmes, look. There's a body here. Not just any body, it's Ashman. The body is still soft to the touch. He died recently. Scratches, bruises and stabs, all self-inflicted. Oh, his eyes are gouged out. The infamous curved dagger. It's tied firmly to his hand. A broken chain. Something was attached to the end. His body succumbed to all those wounds. This branch was recently broken. The wood is still green. A human-sized imprint. Someone fell on their back. Whatever Ashmat had secured to his chain, he lost it here. He crossed the ocean twice with his cult, only to end up splattered on this rock. Seems everyone is disposable. Scratches. This medallion saw frequent use. Interesting occult pattern. What drove him to this dreadful act? I fear we are about to see for ourselves. That's a crafty mechanism, and quite ancient. An obsidian heart. Masterful work. This vessel is covered in dried blood. Oh, I get it. We need fresh blood. And no, I'm not volunteering. Fear not. I think Ashmas can help. Anything to hold blood, Watson? Fine, take my flask.
The lever doesn't want to stay on its own. Watson, hold the lever for me. I must investigate. Holmes, watch out! My lever went back up. The doors, Watson. Hold the doors. Ah! We're trapped! Now what? Look around. There must be something we can use. Those holes seem to have a purpose, but I won't risk my arm to find out what. Ready for anything, Watson. It's all right, Watson. It's merely a chest with coins and a dagger, made of obsidian by the looks of it. Use these with care. Let us be the first adventurers to raid a tomb without destroying it. Terrific. Now, onward before they close again. Let us hope our paths converge, Holmes. Say something! The abyss. Why does it call me? Why? Holmes, say something! Every... Ah! Holmes, speak up! Speak up! Please, John! Holmes! Speak up! Please, John! <clears throat> Keep talking! Help! Please help! 
Sherlock? Watson. Sherlock? Help. Please help. I'm coming. Help. Please help. Holmes! Holmes, come on, wake up! Uh, thank heavens. What were you doing? What happened? Uh, the whirlwind. The stars are so distant. Uh, the sun inverts. The earth it becomes transparent. Sherlock, snap out of it. Nothing is everything. We are so small, inconsequential. A shadow in the dark. I... I think we best go back. You are not well, Sherlock. Uh, no. We are so close. Uh, we cannot... You asked that I intervene if I saw you cracking. This is me intervening. With, with every passing minute, uh, another life is extinguished. We must stop Rochester. We must end this. Ah, oh, Sherlock, you almost died. Worry about me, John. You have other men to save. Careful, Holmes. Sir, are you all right? No response. The base appears to rotate. Hands off, Holmes. We have no idea of its purpose. Entranced, captivated by the light of the lens. Sherlock, don't touch it. We still don't know what it is capable of. Black, metallic, and with a characteristic hue, obsidian yet again. The sheer form of it, the color, it makes me feel uneasy. This material feels very sturdy. It would take an enormous effort to break like that.
That's it! You did it! The lens broke! John, the worshippers, we need to make sure... Of course, I'll see if they're alright. I thought that I'd seen horrors during the war, but this... this is complete madness. chest is moving fast. She's hyperventilating. At least this awful mask is breathable. Check her pulse, can you, Watson? As expected, the pulse is elevated, but within normal limits. Don't mind my trembling hands. It's not fear, it's adrenaline. Shipmates, a storm awakens and we've battened down the hatches. Dirty summers, I presume. Nice to put a filthy, sweat covered face to a name. That's no way to speak to a captain. Sherlock, get down. And you killed him. I... I didn't have a choice. Well, what's done is done. If we do not stop Rochester, Summer's death will be but one of many. The sailor who didn't survive the storm. The Port of London feels so long ago. My sanity Forgive is... Forgive me, Summers. Way. I feel like I've been there. They made sure no one could enter through the main door. Hold on. We need a plan. Mad cultists. Ancient ritual sites. Had I known where this case would lead, I would never have brought you to see Stenwick. They modify the gallery and watch room. Khalid lenses are placed inside the lantern room. It seems they have placed beam emitters all over the main gallery. One moment, Watson. I'll redraw this blueprint. I know this company. They make Fresnel lenses, essential for any modern lighthouse lantern. Pay for padding. They didn't want their cargo damaged.
Hold on. We need a plan. All right, enough talk, time for action. Tell me you have a plan. Of course. We shall apply what we just learned, charge the Khalid lenses, and break them with the dagger. That should put a stop to this cursed ritual. All right, good. I confess, I worry about what awaits us. Is it too much to hope this will all come right? If our future is black, it is better surely to face it like a man than to attempt to brighten it by mere will-o'-the-wisps of the imagination. Come on. We'll go together. Look at them all. We have to help them. Watson, stop. Rochester will see you. What should we do? We get answers. Stay here. See to the lenses. I shall confront Rochester. He owes me the truth. Sherlock! Sherlock! Mr. Holmes, you are late. Was the path here not as you anticipated? You expected me? We've stood here before, Mr. Holmes. Another you, another me. Many years ago. I wonder what will happen this time. What? What are you talking about? Join me. Bear witness to the end. Bear witness to anything, Lord Rochester. You are blind. Oh. <laughs> how? How could you? It is what I do. No. How could you be so ignorant? For I have never seen more clearly than in this moment. Never felt more than I feel right now. Every fiber of the earth, every molecule reverberates in anticipation of the awakening. The bile of madness rises in our throats just as our master rises below. I see moon beasts, night gaunts, a witch doctor in Arkham. I see what the stars themselves are dreaming. I know more than any man has ever known. You are delusional. How did you do it? The compulsions, the visions, was it some form of hypnosis or no? A drug, perhaps. Tell me. Bah! There is no ruse. There is no big reveal. It is exactly what it seems. You still fight so desperately against this truth, but you feel it too. Yes? Yes? You are mad. You have mistaken hallucinations for reality. Are you really one to talk, Mr. Holmes? Speak truthfully now. In the port. In the swamp. What did you see? Something... 
beyond the capacities of my imagination. A world so alien, but... But so familiar. Yes, I see it too, in your mind's eye. Untold horrors lick their lips in the shimmering dreamlands, as Sarnath sinks eternal. useful. What are you hoping to achieve with all this slaughter? Do these people deserve such suffering? They are just tools. Their existence is meaningless unless put to use. Oh, all-seeing master. Oh, grand god beneath. How he has blessed them with purpose. You use them for cruelty. I've seen a man eat his own flesh just to hear the whispers of lizards. I've seen a mother behead her newborn, that she might travel to another world. Galaxies swallow each other whole. Light folds in on itself until nothing remains. You know not cruelty, Mr. Holmes. Cruelty is for such knowledge to be beyond the reach of so many. This is hubris delusion. You are Icarus flying too close to the sun. No, no. You misinterpret the legend, Holmes. Icarus flew! He reached heights no man had ever reached. One must imagine Icarus happy. He burned! Rochester plummeted to his death! And were you to ask him of his choice, he would have not a single regret. Every step I took was necessary. Every drop of blood a blessing. Every death predestined. 
Surely you understand. It was for knowledge. The only thing worth living for. Why must you remain so blind? Be honest. What is it you fear? I... I am afraid that it will cost me my sanity, much as it has cost you yours. There is no such thing as sanity. There is only the world as it is. And one's willingness to accept it. truly believe it, that a god arises from below that the world shall end. There is only nothingness, only chaos and torture, an endless time, stretching its wings, baring its teeth. It's preposterous, it's nonsense, it's... you, you drug me. Uh, the fumes in the temple, narcotics, are a bad reaction. Oh, you're one of my cross agents. This has the stink of my brother all over it. No, 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 wait. Of course, I am dreaming in the asylum. Uh, if in Black Edelweiss, I... tied to a chair. You are standing right here, Holmes, as you always do. You... You said that before. You said we had met, but... I've never seen you before in my life. The cycle repeats. Old becomes new, and we remain pawns in the hands of a god. Submit! Submit to your inconsequence! It is unthinkable! It is undeniable! I cannot! When you have eliminated all which is impossible, then whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth! Now, Holmes! Now is the moment! You know it in your heart! Say it! Say it! It's... it's real. All of it, it's... it's real.
Maybe your god is unstoppable, but you are merely a man. And I know how to stop you. What do you mean? What have you done? I have made a friend. Yeah! No! Curse you! Oh, great one! Forgive me! It is over, Rochester. I thought this time would be different. But the gods laugh at man's arrogance. Sherlock! Come back down! The wave! Come with us! Turn yourself in! Save yourself! The abyss calls for me, Mr. Holmes, as it does for you. The final problem approaches, and you too shall fall! Sherlock! Please! Rochester, don't! Such heights we reach! No! God! Sherlock, we must get inside! I have to see it, John. I have to know. Did I rouse you? I could relocate to the study, but I wanted to be at hand should you need me. No, no, no. The sound of your keys uh, is my tether back to the waking world. I find writing of our adventure helps me too. Perhaps at some point you could read it and tell me if it accords with your memory. There are moments in our journey that only you were privy to. Your encounter with Gygax, your visions with Light of the Abyss, your confrontation with Rochester. No. Pardon me? Do not publish it. It would be professional suicide. Uh, you would be a laughing stock, a fabulist, concocting penny dreadfuls for the unwashed masses. And I... Well, I would no longer attract a distinguished clientele, but madmen convinced I could connect them to their deceased relatives or help them capture a fairy. Ah. It doesn't seem to get any better, does it? When I close my eyes, John, I am falling. Falling into a black abyss. It is endless and suffocating and unforgiving. What I would give for a dreamless night. It's going to be all right, Sherlock. What is that? It will help you rest. No, 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 not that, no, no. I say, Watson, would you be afraid to sleep in the same home as a lunatic, a man with softening of the brain, an idiot whose mind has lost its grip? Not in the least. Ah. That's lucky. <laughs> <laughs> 